Check this out. It's the latest technology in mixers. Known as the Rotated Arc Mixer, or RAM for short, the revolutionary new mixer can mix substances that have never been mixed before. CSIRO scientists Dr Murray Rudman and Dr Guy Metcalf invented the new Super Duper Mixer. Guy, what's it used to mix? Well, Kylie, it's used to mix all kinds of things. For example, foods and uh, pharmaceuticals, cosmetics, anything that's thick and gooey. So it's good for thick and gooey stuff? Yes, we like thick and gooey. And why did you decide to invent a new mixing machine? Well, Kylie, thick and gooey things often give mixing problems. They, they tend to clog up, uh, particularly industrial mixers for these continuous type industrial mixers. They clog, they don't do a good a job, or they take too much energy to do the job properly. And this one overcomes those problems? This one overcomes all those problems. The key to the RAM's success are the forces that produce what's called chaotic mixing. So how does it work? Well, Kylie, what we have is there's a cylinder inside here, and that's stationary, and we've got holes in it. And then this cylinder on the outside rotates around. Now, it's a bit hard to see what's going on inside, so we made up this cardboard model to sort of illustrate it. And so here's the inner cylinder, and these are the holes that we've cut in it all around. Here's the outer cylinder that's rotating around. And what happens is every time we're at this hole, the, the fluid is spun around and the orientation of the fluid spinning is like this and then a little while later we move down to this hole and the orientation changes so it spins in a different orientation as we get further down it spins in a different orientation and just as the fluid moves down through this tube the orientation of the spinning changes over and over and over again and that's what brings on the chaotic motion in the fluid. Depending on the specific application, suitable combinations of flow and rotation rates can be chosen based on mathematical models and methods that have been developed. We use mathematics and uh, computer simulations to work out the best chaos. Uh, here's an example of a simulation. We've got the uh, RAM mixer in the, in the computer, then we have the red and the green particles we send down, and then we measure the mixing, how well the mixing is. Then we change the geometry around a little bit and we measure the mixing again. And in that way, we find the best mixing and how it gets better and better as we change things around. The RAM has been proven to work twice as well as other commonly used industrial mixers. And it uses five times less energy to do it, which is good news for the environment. Needless to say, both Guy and Murray are extremely excited about the possibilities of the new CSIRO RAM. What's the potential of this thing? Kylie, we think this has potential in lots of industries. Uh, in particular, we're looking at the polymer, plastics, and the food industry. OK, so you've developed this model. What's the next step? Well, Kylie, we're going to build one for the industry to disperse very small particles into plastics. And then we're going to build another one that will be good for doughs and batters. And then after that, who knows? Perhaps we'll spread chaos throughout the world.